So here we have a copy of uh, AG Bridge and we can notice that very clearly because of this gap here which would never be in an original guitar. Right? This one here, very little distance, here a lot of distance and less so impossible. This bridge is not authentic. So even could be two things. Now one thing could be that the bridge is, is was replaced for another bridge which is not accurate and therefore it has a modification of the guitar or that the whole guitar is not authentic. I don't know until I have it in my hands and unless I have it in my very own hands or hands of an expert, of any other expert in the matter, we cannot decide what's the thing, but this bridge for sure is fake. Now, uh, if you see how does it look, a real AG bridge, you notice how much precision does it have. It has six holes perfectly balanced distance from one to another. The description of this link, the first link I will post is about this Emperor Snake video, on which I explained with 20 or 30 guitars this in detail. Well, now then you have a bridge which is not an authentic bridge, and this is what happens when people risk buying online things, which are also second-hand, which by the way, in the AG warranty, this specifies very clearly that the warranties is there, but provided you acquire the guitar from an authorized AG dealer, and if you are the first owner. Why? Because the guitar may go there from eBay or to this side, to Kijiji side, to different sites, and then pass through many hands, and obviously the company cannot assume liability because someone mistreated the guitar, didn't put the humidifier for two years and then sells it in three dollars, apparently trying to make a good deal out of it, right? Sometimes it's very subtle, the damage that the guitar may have, and therefore the warranty is, is not there, and for a good reason. So this copying thing, I'm not against copying because this is the only way to learn, right? For example, in the Museo del Prado, here we can see that different artists are copying pieces of art from the previous masters. Like this guy here is painting this Greco thing, this is another. So this is the way to study uh, actually painting, the art of, of painting. We have to also know what the previous masters did, and there is nothing wrong to do a copy, but we know that this is a copy, right? So same thing, these nice pictures here. You see this guy is, is learning how to how to paint on this style, so he has to. He has permission to the museum and then make a copy right, of, the, of the work. There is nothing wrong with it. Right, but provided we know this is a copy, right? It looks like the original, but it's not. So to, to know what's what, we need an expert. And that's, that's why it's very risky to get just guitars or art uh, just from, from a second-hand dealer, let's see, let's say. And that's why the companies cannot afford to have warranties so well that cover this thing. For example, this guy here. He has a, a guitar which looks like KG, but obviously, well, I think a friend sent me this this picture and probably these, these guys are the ones who, who made the, the guitar because you see here instruments they make this copy of AG right but the thing is that obviously this guitar is not an AG guitar right but it looks like it looks like more or less you see this model here is like the 1945 And of course this guitar, well, which is like this model here, more or less, right, they copied from here, right, most probably. Right, in fact, so this thing here is risky because if now someone sells, sells such guitar online, 